Hi, I'm the Scrub, and you're here for one reason. Welcome to Aeosia News at 5. We've obtained new information that the Enigma Codex fragment has been handed over to the Illuminati. An Illuminati representative has dismissed these comments as fake news. How will this affect Slowfix Coin Toss's re-election campaign? More at 11. Time to learn about the Cuff of the Sun. Simplify. Attack and kill the three enemies. Watch out for the Gobwalkers as they can put a Vuln stack on whoever they're targeting every 10 seconds or so. When everything has been defeated, the vent will burst and five small enemies will spawn in. Kill these five enemies and jump down the vent which will take you to the Gauntlet where you will fight four robots one after the other. Every boss in this fight has a five minute enrage timer that will start counting down from the moment you pull it. You have an almost 0% chance of this happening in Duty Fighter today. If you do see the enrage, you will have final sentence instantly cast on you and the entire party will be deleted. First up is Blaster. Brute Force is a tank buster. Mind Blast is a room wide AoE. Blaster will cast a ballistic missile which will cast several AOEs around the arena. After these AOEs go off they will leave mines on the ground. If you run into a mine it will explode at a large size AOE, knock back everyone in the vicinity and give everyone in the AOE a Von Stack and an Asuna or Paralysis. If you get this purple marker above your head you will be targeted with a blaster clone which will land on the spot you are standing on. It will then turn around and target a random player and dash across the arena on a straight line AOE through where that player was standing. If you get hit by any of these clones it will give you a Von Stack. To avoid getting hit just try and move out of the way of where they're all facing. Shortly after this the mines will disappear and the boss will cycle through mechanics until it has been Defeated. Head up the ramp to the next boss. Every time Brawler hits his tank buster called Magic Mark, it will give the tank a stack of magical Volna. When Brawler opens its arms and has this animation around it, its fist will change to one of three things. A single flat barrel, which is a tank buster, so don't stand with a tank. A double flat barrel, which is a stack marker on the main tank, so the tank will need to move to the party to share the damage. If not enough people are stacked or the tank takes it by themselves with enough Volna, people can be deleted. And a single point of drill, which is a single target attack at a random party member. Brawler will repeat mechanics until it has been defeated. Head up the ramp. Swindler's Magic Mark is also a tank buster, but this one will not give a magic Volna. This boss will change the floor, raising half the tiles in a chessboard-like pattern and giving them an orange glow. It will then give everyone one of two debuffs. High arithmetics with a purple debuff, or low arithmetics with a red debuff. You will need to be the opposite of what your debuff is. So if your debuff said high, you will need to be on a lower platform, and if your debuff said low, you will need to be on a higher platform. I normally tell myself red high, purple low, in order to check my debuff and find out which part of the arena I would need to be standing in for this mechanic. Swindler will then cast height. If you're on an incorrect platform when this cast finishes, you will be damaged and get a Vuln stack. Bio arithmetics is a room-wide AoE. If you get targeted with the shining circle with a number of spheres orbiting above it, this is a specific numbered stack marker. The number of spheres is how many people must stack in the circle. As an example, if there are two spheres, two people must stack. You are number one, so you only need one other person to stack with you. If you do not have the exact number of players in the circle, you will be damaged with a hard hit and gain a Vuln stack. The boss will cycle through these mechanics until it has been defeated. And finally, Vortex Up. Brute Force is a tank buster that will give you a stack of physical Volna. The boss will cast Elemental Jammer, which will give a random party member the debuff of compressed water. 21 seconds later, a water spout will spawn at the feet of wherever that person is standing. I highly recommend dropping this water spout away from the wall which will come in handy later. Vortex will launch four missiles at random party members. They will get an AoE on the ground beneath their feet. The resulting AoE that it leaves behind will give you the heavy and sludge debuffs if you're standing in it. Super Cyclone is a massive knockback to all players from Vortex's position. When players get this frozen icon above their head with a blue circle around them, it will mean that an ice puddle will be created beneath them. One of these players must stand with part of their ice circle overlapping the water spout from earlier. This will freeze the water and create an ice boulder. The ice puddle that are generated will give you the frost by debuff if you're standing in it. When the boss starts casting Ultra Flash, you must get out of the boss's line of sight or it will immediately remove you from the plane of existence. You will need to get behind the Ice Boulder and make sure that the boulder is between you and Vortexa to avoid being deleted. From here, Vortexa will cycle mechanics until it has been defeated. Congratulations, you have beaten Alexander 6. My name is The Scrub. Thank you for watching.